This is the first look inside the Gnome Sweet Gnome Hive. Mom and I decorated this hive with gnomes all around. It's a gnome theme. All right, first look. Let's, we'll see what we have. Ants or not. This one has little ants. Okay, I left that honey dredge in there. That's all clean. I'll take that out, get rid of that. See the little ants? Little ants in this one. Gotta love variety, right? Looks like we got some spiders over there. Okay, looks like they may have killed a few. Or they just came up here to die. Getting rid of the ants. Oh, look at that. Tiny ant colony. Okay. Oh. Right on to the smoker. Okay, if you have ants, use a stick to remove your pillow because, especially if you have uh, holes in your gloves. I have the ventilated holes in my gloves. So hopefully none, none got into my bee suit. Okay, this hive will not be getting any pillow either. Nice roar. So Martitian bee drug bee over here and I didn't see if she got rid of it. So we'll do that for her. All right, same kind of game plan here. Although I wish that these ants would get out of here. I'm gonna drop one of the frames in that they need to build a full comb on. And then several other frames that already have comb in various stages. So the reason I can do this without having all the bees boiling up at me is because all the top bars meet or meet as close as they can and then the bees propolize them shut. See where I can feel some heat. Oh, that's interesting. One, two, three, not so much. Four, five, six, seven, a little bit. That's where the ants were hiding out. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven, not so much. That's where the honey is. So, if I want to see any brood, I'm going to have to crack open number six. I'm marking the top ledge with a Crayola crayon from my brother-in-law Gary so that I can easily reference the frames in the video. Alright, I'm coming in to see where that frame is that I added the starter strip to. If it fell down, or how is it doing? The divider board's going to be moved over quite a bit, so I can just do that right now. Alright, frame 11 looks like one they had to do repair on, and they cleaned it up it looks like, but haven't repaired it that much. So I'll put a full frame next to this one. Frame nine, I think, is where I put the frame of the homemade wax strip. Oh, 
Oh yes, this one stayed. They're getting testy. I'm not going to go any further, but this is frame nine is the one that stayed. You can see that corner right there. That's my homemade one. Yay. So this one worked for some reason. The other one didn't. There's brood or not brood, uh, drone comb, popcorn type. Uh, so this is a brand new frame of comb, frame nine, that they built out. Better look there. Yeah, that's drone. That's on brand new comb. Oh, do you see some waggle dances? right there she is doing waggle she is telling her sister bees where to find the resources okay. so we have drone which means we probably have worker brood I'm gonna crack one more and then we're gonna put the rest of the frames back in Drone on both sides. And I see worker brood over here. Hopefully you can see that. I don't want to pull it up. Ants trying to figure out where to go with their eggs. Not here, not here. Keep on walking. Since they have to build this one up from the bottom, they're gonna get a full one right next to it. We're gonna get one of these frames where last year they pretty much built free form pretty well. So hopefully they'll build free form again. This is a full one all the way to the bottom. One they have to finish. This one's got comb that they need to clean, so there's dead brood inside of there from last year. That's it for this installment of checking on the bees about four weeks after they were installed from a package. They're looking pretty good except for maybe the ants. Gave them five more frames. So I'm happy to see that my homemade comb wax starter strip worked well for this hive. Although the other hive it slid down. Not sure why that is but there's varying thicknesses when I made the wax comb. I've got an idea how to fix that so watch for an upcoming video. And I'll link in the description below for the video where I made my homemade wax surface strips. 
This is Super Beast Shrew with BBS Bees. We'll go to you later. Hi. Here's my tote. It was full of frames when I started, and now I just have one left. So you can look for the video on the frame holder that was built for the inside of the totes. It's just a basic frame holder and I list all of the limitations that we encountered. And after I posted the video in the Land Treatment Free Facebook group, a gentleman uh, created a custom fitting frame holder so hopefully you're in the Facebook group and you can download those specifications. He did a really nice job. The gentleman's name was Ross Millard. Thanks Ross for doing the extra work. Don't forget your ratchet traps. My highs have not blown off the stands yet. And we get pretty stiff winds here. They're not the prettiest, they're not color coordinated, but oh well. Smoker's still going, I think I'll go check on the swarm trap. And that's all, folks. We'll buzz you later. Bye.